Just headed our way overnight tonight. Very warm today as temperatures got into the 70s and the rest of the evening will stay mild. So if you're headed out dry, but warm. We're in the 60s right now. Dew points are higher, so it is a little more humid, but it's a fairly comfortable day overall. Clouds are coming at us from the south and from the west. Also to the west is where our cold front is. First, we'll get the rainfall moving in. Now, there is some severe weather with the rain. Uh, most of the storms have been uh, severe thunderstorms. We've not seen any tornadic activity, thank goodness, but it does look like this line will be weakening as it approaches southeast Louisiana later on overnight tonight and for the morning drive tomorrow, but we are going and have some rain for the morning drive tomorrow and tomorrow's morning rain is going to be a cold rain 60s and low 70s outside right now wind still out of the south once that front moves through winds are going to be howling so not only is it going to be just a cold day overall tomorrow factoring in the wind chill it's going to feel more like the 30s all day here comes that colder air it is moving very fast to the south already in the 30s at oklahoma city 50 degrees at dallas so it's already moved through north texas and still pushing south again overnight tonight is when that front will move on through, bringing with it a cold rain. So tonight we're not worrying about any kind of frozen precipitation. That doesn't occur tonight, but with the colder air moving in, that will start off the day kind of nasty. Then if and this is the big if if we see more moisture overrunning that cold air late Thursday night and into early Friday, that is when we could see some sleet mixed in. This is interesting. This is our precision cast model. It's based on the IBM graph model and notice it doesn't have much of anything around us. A lot of the models are now trending with a surface low that's developing and that's what's going to bring us this rain chance tomorrow night and early Friday. If it develops and stays far farther to our south, there won't be any moisture or very limited moisture available to give us any kind of frozen precipitation. That's not what all of the models are saying. This is one of our high resolution models. This is saying again, kind of that cold rain moving in overnight tonight. Really no debate about that and the colder temperatures moving in again, not really up for debate. The debate is do we have that available moisture to get any kind of frozen precipitation? This high resolution model is saying yes, we will. This would bring in some of that frozen stuff. This model is even saying some snow across parts of southwestern Mississippi. Again, the best chance of anything frozen is going to be more on the North Shore and areas west, but also kind of interesting. This model too has been trending a little drier. That's actually what the Euro has been saying really since day one, keeping much of that available moisture going into early Friday morning too far down to our south for this cold air to really make any impact. It can be as cold as it wants, but if there's no moisture, you're not going to get any kind of frozen precipitation and that may very well be what happens if we were to see any of the frozen precipitation. It's going to be as a rain, maybe some sleep pellets on the south shore and then areas west and north is where you would see the freezing rain and the greatest threat in those areas would be some ice on elevated roadways. So something that we need to be cautious of not tonight, but tomorrow night and early Friday. Then after that, we're looking at a hard freeze potential on Saturday morning. Temperatures into the low and mid 20s, perhaps the river parishes, but but definitely on the North Shore as well as on Sunday morning. So if we do get that frozen precipitation, it's kind of a one two punch for folks on the North Shore. You get some ice Friday morning and then a hard freeze both Saturday and Sunday morning. As I just said that uh, frozen precipitation chance late tomorrow night and early Friday is still very much up in the air. It's possible we get no rainfall from that system.